Sorry for the shakes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So today, my hope is to get through a layout on the quicker side and then do a page kit put together. If the layout takes longer than I thought, I won't do the page kit just because I have to go grocery shopping. Hi, Beth. Um, I have to go grocery shopping, so <laughs> I need the food and I need to get back. All right, so I am also working on my little scrapbook store Facebook cr online craft challenges. They are due on Monday. The Facebook group um, back at the beginning of February, they had an online craft. There were 22 challenges, and I guess quite a few people, not quite a few, I guess at least, uh, I think at least four did all 21 challenges to be able to enter the 22nd one, which was I did every challenge. I will not be doing every challenge. <laughs> I am, however, going to work on one here. This is the uh, sketch challenge. Um, I guess it's actually their February sketch challenge as well. So I will enter in that as well because, hey, who doesn't like winning contests? Everyone does. Um, so hopefully using a sketch, I will be able to make this a pretty quick layout. You have four left, Beth. All right, I bow because I, I just didn't have enough time to work on all of those. Um, I meant to do it, like I had the day off of work on Wednesday and I meant to do it then, but it just didn't happen. So I will get done when I get done and be happy with it. All right, before I get started, I do wanna say, if you guys could remember to flick me a thumbs up if you're coming in, leaving, whatever or not, it just helps um, my YouTube channel. So just if you could do that. All right, so this I believe is a page maps sketch. And what I am using to, here, let me bring it up closer because I know it's very tiny on the paper here. So it's got two photos, three by four-ish. Um, they have it like three by 4.25, but my photos are three by four, so we'll just have to deal with that. So what I have is a page kit I put together for a crop I went to back at the end of September. If you watch my videos, hi, Linda. Um, if you watch my videos, uh, I did film everything that I made at that crop. I actually literally just finished um, the last video for that one that would have gone up last week. Um, I did have a couple, I think just six or seven page kits left over from that. And this is one of them. This is Archie. Archie is one of my dogs. Oh, by the way, since this is live, if my dog should randomly start to bark, I do apologize. There really isn't anything I can do about them. Um, what we're going to be doing with these photos is ignoring the red toys. Uh, not ignoring, ignoring, but we're not going to be bringing red as a giant um, embellishment add-on um, for this particular layout. We're just going to acknowledge the toys are red, but not enhance and embellish that the toys are red. Um, what I actually have is a page kit and a couple of pieces of paper from Made From Scratch by Echo Park. Now in here, like, isn't that a cooking themed? collection? Yes, it is. Are we going to use the cooking portions? No, we are not. <laughs> uh, I liked the colors. Um, when I flip over this one, I will explain um, that. Oops, that goes there too. Um, what I really fell in love with with this line is this diagonal stripe. So we're going to use the diagonal stripe the tone on tone. And then I also pulled in this piece of paper. This is a piece of paper where I had just been testing um, some of my new mixed media and stencils when I um, when I had received them. So I just kind of took out a piece of marshmallow cardstock. I didn't even gesso any of it. So it's pretty buckly. Uh, but you know, it's not that bad. And I thought if I'm just going to use this end here, that's really cute. This is not cute. It just, I was just spraying some dark color I had gotten, but this is pretty cute, especially if I'm just going to use a portion of it. And as part of the sketch, what I'm thinking is because I don't really have a ton of journaling here, rather than make this my journaling, I think I'm just going to make it an embellishment area and use the, um, that, 
mixed media part as the embellishment area. That was one of my dogs. That was actually Sadie. She decided to come and check out who I'm talking to. She doesn't see you guys, so excuse me, I'm gonna drink some tea. Getting a little dry. It is very cold here. Whew, that is hot tea. I just made it, so probably not the world's best idea. All right, let's go ahead and get started. If I'm gonna get through this, I need to actually get started. All right, so I'm going to be working on white cardstock. That is right here. And then go ahead and get a chunk of the diagonal stripe. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna cut it this way um, and then keep the branding strip on it just in case. So let's see, what is this from? This is from 2014. Yepperoonie 2014. And I think I'll do a four inch chunk and then let's get that. So page maps is one of those where it looks really precise but there aren't measurements on it so and I'm not a big measurer anyway, so that's not a big deal. But let's get a little bit off of here. Now, one thing I will say is there is a notebook punch in this piece of paper, and I am going to go ahead and put the notebook punch in there. This is from EK Success. So hopefully, it is marshmallow cardstock, so gonna be a little thick. So I'm gonna probably shake the camera, I apologize. Now one thing with this particular bunch is once you get it, you then can't go all the way to the bottom, it's weird. Like the paper goes all the way to the bottom as long as you've got paper that's not cut, but the paper that is cut doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Which is super fun. Sorry guys, it's really hard to talk while I'm doing this. Usually I'll end up with part of it being um, not correct. And that's fine, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's one good thing about the notebook punches, you're supposed to then kind of mess it up. One more should get it if I don't knock my glue off my table. So how is everyone doing? It is, as I said, very, very cold here, but only supposed to be cold here, like really cold until later today. Then it's supposed to like warm up to the mid forties, which is not warm per se, but it's warmer than what it is right now, which is about 12 degrees. Let me just put this punch away, otherwise it'll stay on my desk for a while. All right, so let's trim this down. I think we'll go right to where that is. So we don't get that sharp edge of the, I mean, I know I'm cutting it off, but I don't know. It seemed important to me at the time. Um, and then we'll just go right down to the thingy here. It's gonna be a little bit shorter than in the actual sketch. I think if I go to here, there. I'll save this part, but this part I will let go. No one's talking. Everyone working? Everyone? Anyone scrapping along with me? We're just gonna do that. Kind of mess things up. This is kind of too thick a paper to get it really messy, but So this weekend, I have a three-day weekend. It is President's Day on Monday in the US. If you are not in the US, you may not know that. All right, I've got that all taken care of. Now it's time to cut my other piece. And that looks... All 
All right, let's go ahead and get that. Just trying to do some measurements in my head, not your organize, your organize your craft space. Okay, cool, Beth. I'm in the middle of doing that too, slowly. I'm trying not to do it super quick because um, just trying to give me an idea of how. There we go. And then it runs off the page. So if I need to trim off the edge afterwards, I can do that. So this weekend, as I said, I have a three day weekend. So I'm hoping I can get some more of the challenges and just more scrapping in general done. Um, I've got a couple of collabs coming up. I have, um, my For the Love of Crafting and Sharing, that'll be up on the 20th. And then on Monday, which is the 17th, I've got my next For the Love of Homemade Kits video up. It turned out pretty cute, I will, if I, if I do say so myself. And then next month for my live, Linda, hold on, I will go back to that in a second. Oh yeah, my um, my dad lives in Florida. He lives near Tampa on that side. So when my brother called, he said that it was being up and down, up and down, you know, and not, <laughs> not super happy about it. So, all right, we've got that. Go ahead and add some extra glue because it's going over some mixed media. Sorry, I'm trying to glue that down straight. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll move that off and then I'll just trim that off afterwards. So in the sketch, this is supposed to go underneath this, but I actually like it better on top. And then I can use um, this as a matte because it won't be over the same one. But what I think I'll do is I'll put the two photos together rather than have them separated as is in the sketch, just because I don't like that weird diagonal stripe between the two photos. And that makes me happy because I do so love diagonal scraps. Diagonal stripes, oh my gosh. Okay, hi, Ray. Oh, hi Rachel, hi Donnie. Um, I did not, I did do the mixed media paper. I did that when I was just testing, um, some mixed media stuff I had gotten. I've had that probably for a year or two, just kind of hanging around my stash. Um, and I was actually inspired for last month, inspired by last month's For the Love of Homemade Kits kit. One of the elements um, Christina had put in the kit was to use a um, sheet of mixed media that um, you had previously made and just add it to your layout. And I was like, oh, wow, you mean we're supposed to use those things we create and then stick in a container? and never look at it again. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, I should uh, I should do that. I still haven't replaced the batteries in my caterpillar crop, in case you're wondering why I'm using my fingers. I have batteries, by the way. It's, it's not like they're in Antarctica, they're in the kitchen, in a drawer. Have not done that yet. Because <laughs> I'm awesome like that. Oh, so next weekend, speaking of organization, 
next weekend, I'm actually going to Ikea, which isn't that far from my house, but about 45 minutes. But I'm getting the rest of my organizational um, furniture for my scrap area. So if you, those of you who do not know, I do not have a scrapbook room per se. I have a dining room that really never gets to use as a dining room. Um, we have an eat-in kitchen and we also, you know, usually, unless we're having like a, a really um, specific meal, we usually just eat in the living room because, you know, that's us. I'm gonna try to see if I can line these up. And I say that and like, in all honesty, it probably doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm really doing it more for the angles than getting the stripes lined up because I'm obviously not gonna get the color lined up, but I just want the angle lined up. There we go. Now I've gotta get that when I glue this paper down. Xanthi, I actually don't know where Xanthi is. You know what? I, I may, I don't know if I'm, yes, I did, of course I mentioned. It's really cold here, like seriously cold. Um, so she has probably parked herself in front of the radiator. Um, she likes to sit directly in front of it and then take her paws and slide them underneath. Um, so basically she's baking herself. Um, you know, but hey, it happens. All right, let's try to get this once again, just to line it up. Oh, so as I was saying, I'm going to Ikea. Um, uh, as I said, I do not, except this is completely... Crooked. Oh, yeah, there, that works. Okay, yay, happy. Um, so I have, oh, I have a random acetate piece. I know where that goes with, so it goes right here because I have to put that away. So, um, Oh, yes, if she was going to show up, it most likely will be an inopportune moment. Um, so, as I said, I do not have a scrap room. I have a scrap area that is known as my dining room. And I use about half, like, oopsie, upside down. So, if this is my dining room, I use, like, this half for all my storage and stuff like that. And then I scrapbook on the table in the center. And then the rest is just... Really, we use it more as kind of like a storage area. I'll be totally honest. Like we have a bike in here and um, yarn. My housemate is a knitter. And then um, uh, we will like buy presents because they're on sale. And then, you know, keep like a little gift area in our house. And in case we're like, oh crud, we're going to a birthday party. What do we have in the gift area? And see if there's anything appropriate. So anyway, <laughs> I like everyone else and their sister bought those Jet Max cubes um, back when they first started coming out. Only I really don't like them. Um, I don't like the look because it is visible from my living room. I'm not, I haven't ever been super happy with it. Um, my friend Deb has a gorgeous scrap room. I mean, gorgeous. And she got a whole bunch of the Besta shelves, which are, you can do shelving, open shelving. You can do uh, drawers in a medium and a small, or you can do cabinets in a large, medium, and small. And there are different looks. Mine is uh, very traditional, um, like shaker style, uh, but you can do more modern and stuff like that. So I need to look at the sketch because I've forgotten where the title goes. The title goes at the bottom. There is a circular element. Let me see. I don't know if I want to add a doily, but let me see if I've got something circular. Uh, and I'll just talk about Ikea. So I want to get one more of the, the best units. 
Uh, the one I have currently, I've got two medium drawers and one small drawer and then three shelves. And then I'm going to mimic on the other side, but rather than drawers, I'm going to make them cabinets and um, use that as open storage for like albums I haven't used yet. I do have, I know I, ha I'm not saying I can't use doilies, but. So, I wonder if I have navy ones, I don't think I do. That's not bad. I like the green too, but there really isn't green in here. It's more of an aqua. Then there's a blue. So I'm going to get another best to shelf and then I'm also going to do a cabinet and that's where all of my albums with, oh, I think I like the blue. Yes, I do. Um, the albums that I have filled will go. And that one is called Sivid, Sivdi, I don't know how it's pronounced, um, but it's S-Y-V-D-E in case you wanna look it up. Um, so, let go, thank you. Um, and then I wanna pick up a couple other things like some storage containers and not necessarily everything for um, my scrapbooking area, you know, also some things for just regular life. Okay. Oh, did you notice that my doily pouch is has doilies on it? Yes. Okay. That's actually not, not an accident in the sense that, oh, I didn't realize I put doilies in my doily pouch. Um, I had ordered some um, whatchamacallit, freckled fawn grab bags, like when they went on clearance for $5. So I ordered like three of them. And one of the ones I got was, um, that doily one. And I had had my doilies stored in another freckled fawn pouch. And I went, well, we're going to change out. <laughs> <laughs> the doilies for the doily pouch because yeah hello <laughs> hello uh so this is obviously a pre-done title um i believe it came out i believe it's a vicky Booten. not 100 percent. if it's not vicky Booten, then it's probably amy tangerine going by the writing style you know the and the black foam. So it says, life is good here. Um, this particular layout is actually going to be about uh, Mr. Archie here and his propensity for destroying toys. Um, Miss Sadie, our other dog, the one you heard tap dancing earlier. Yes, so yeah. I'm not perfect either. Um, so I have, one has doilies, one has tissue paper that sticks out of it, one has stencils that stick out of them, and then I have another one that holds my, um, oh duh, I could have made a circle. I have the Creative Memories Circle Maker. Um, talk about old, but I have the three um, circles and then the three uh, cutter pieces and I keep that in one as well and they all sit in a little metal um, desk organizer that I used to use for all of my thickers before I got my Besta cabinet and I save all of my um, thickers in that small drawer now rather than um, in a container because I like them better away. And we'll go ahead and use the hashtag, why not? So yes, he likes to de destroy, <laughs> he likes to destroy toys. Um, Miss Sadie, who is our other dog, she uh, is a toy hoarder. She loves toys and she loves to gather them and sit on them. 
and she likes to nibble on them and then not really, you know, do anything with them. But Archie likes to remove all of their innards and spread them all over the floor and then gnaw on their carcasses because that's the kind of dude he is. So, yay, yay. Poor Sadie. <laughs> Sadie's like, what happened? All right, we'll do that one there. I love the bold black with the bright colors. And then it also helps because Archie is black. So it brings that out. And then I'm also going to add these Ellie Studio hearts. And here's where we're getting a little farther away from the sketch. So that's why, um, for me, a sketch is a jumping off point. It's never, my layouts never, almost never end up looking like a sketch. They just don't. Oh, here is Ms. Anthe. She's like, you are talking. I hear you. Let me join you. All right, so I know I've got two. Do I have another small one? Is that the exact, it is the exact same color, right? Yeah. So we'll take the red, because the orange is the other color there. And we will add that down there and put that up there, because those are not the same. Great, one's a green and one's an aqua. And then I have these three dots. Oh, I know, I'm gonna do dot, dot, dot and then i'm going to add for a toy destroyer now i've done another page called the toy destroyer which shows another version of him destroying another so this is a set of toys we had bought and then he just went and destroyed um this is actually the second set of toys he destroyed so um let me get some lines in for journaling. I'm not going to do the journaling and I'm not going to do the for a toy destroyer because um, I'll use little tile stickers and that'll take 94 years to do. So I won't do that on camera. I am going to add some mist because I want to. And I think I will go for Heidi Swap rather than Shimmers. I find that Heidi Swap is more opaque, and I think that's what I'm looking for in this particular layout. Let's go with blue. And I think yellow. I think I have butter. Yeah, I do. All right. Hey, Danielle. Let's see. Yeah, he won't play with those. We would totally do that if he would play with them, um, but he doesn't. So, and neither does Sadie. <laughs> so instead they just sit there um, doing nothing. <laughs> so it's kind of like a waste of money. It's like you either buy it and they don't play with it or you buy it and they just completely destroy it. Um, we've had good luck with the ones that are kind of like reinforced um, he, he, it takes him like a couple weeks cause he gets tired. So he'll stop. Hi Sharon. Um, he will stop and like recuperate. So those are what we end up getting him. Um, so it's better, but yeah. It, it, we just, you know, we've had, I, uh, we've had Sadie for like 14 years and she, like I said, she's a, a nibbler. Like she had, to, she's had toys that she's had for five years. Um, so it was just a shock when Archie came along and it like just decimated all of the toys in like a weekend. All right. So here is my layout. As I said, I will add the rest of the title here. And then I will just add a couple of lines about, oh goodness gracious, you can just like decimate an entire section of toys in seconds. So here's the original sketch 
from the My Little Scrapbook Store Facebook Crop Challenge that I'm using by Page Maps. And then here is my layout. Almost finished, 90%. All right, what time are we at? Oh, 10.34, very cool. Um, so for those of you joining us, I said I was going to make a page kit if I managed to do the layout in about half an hour. So I did, so let's do that. Speaking of Mr. Archie, that is the page kit I am making up. So I have, this is the Vicki Booten Wildflower and Honey line. It came out last year, I think. Yeah, 2019. Um, I never touched it. I did go and make, I did a session with my, um, whatchamacallit thing, um, silhouettes. So I do have, uh, I did make a cut file with it. If you guys just give me a second, I need to take a sip of some tea because I'm a little dry. Hmm. It's a much better temperature now. <laughs> it was very hot before when I tried to take a sip. Hmm. So before I get started on this, so I am going to be starting up making more page kits. I'm going to two crops, one in at the end of March, which is a local crop to me. It's about, it's in the next town over from me. It's about 20 minutes away. Um, I'm going to be making an update to my packing to go to a crop, both the driving edition for the crop I'm going to in March, as well as the flying edition, which is the one uh, I will be going to another crop in North Carolina in the middle of May. So. Uh, when I did that version last year, I made one video um, talking less about actual packing and talking more about my philosophy and, you know, about going to crops. Why do we do go to crops? What are the, you know, good points? What are the bad points? Blah, 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 so on and so forth. I will not be making another version of that. I will simply be making what I'm packing to bring to a crop. Um, so... Uh, for the one in March, I am not, it's not going to be a normal packing because rather than packing a, like a ton of things to make layouts, I have two projects I want to do, a mini album for a weekend in Ohio, and then I want to make a little, very simple mini album of uh, my nephew's senior photos for high school, which I went ahead and had printed at Persnickety Prints on their very fancy, very thick paper. I will show you. So they turned out really, really nice. The photos, we have a friend who's a professional photographer and she did an amazing job. And um, so it's gonna be a very simple six by eight album. I want to use the, um, I'm going to use the indigo and ivy line as my paper and then because they're only going to be like 15 to 16 maybe even slightly less layouts I was super duper I wasn't sure how to do it whether I wanted to do it in a traveler's notebook I'm like a six by eight three ring album that's going to be like not a lot of going on so when simple stories came out with their six by eight flip books that are going to be released in April I'm like bingo <laughs> Finally found out that is perfect. It's absolutely the way I want to go. So I'm very, very happy. Well, yeah, but Jen is a great parodies. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like that. Like I've got miniature schnauzers, so <laughs> I'm like, they should, he he has like jaws of steel. Like even if you like, if he gets, if he he was chewing a stick and he got a little piece of stick stuck in his mouth and trying to pry his jaw apart to get the little piece of stick out took three of us like literally we the three of us were like working together in order to get this tiny little piece of stick out of his mouth Oy vey. all right so I talked about the crop I talked about oh and so the other one I'm doing in a traveler's notebook and uh it's gonna be a weekend in Ohio so that's what I'm going to be working at at the crop in March the crop in May is going to be traditional 12 by 12 and 12 by 24 layouts. 
it will be, uh, I will film everything. I'm going to Heather's Crafty Life Retreat. I've been to, I went to one back in 2018. I had a lot of fun. And so I'm going again in the middle of May in North Carolina. And then I don't think I have anything else planned or plans to go to anything else. So yeah, uh, I will be putting page kits together for the one in May. I may do a I may do a video about it. I may not. I never know. Um, so I won't be filming the one in March, but what I will do is I will come back and make flip throughs of both the Traveler's Notebook album and the yearbook album as well when I get back. All right, one last thing and then I will go ahead and make my page cut. Um, <laughs> In March, my live is actually going to be part of a YouTube hop. It is called From the Heart, Straight from the Heart, something, something from the heart. Um, I'm sorry, I'm having a, a mind blip right now. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna shift you guys up and show you Ms. Anthe. because this is how she's sitting right now. Pay no attention to that. That actually belongs in my living room. It's kind of like a my junk drawer for the living room. All right, sorry y'all are me shaking. Okay, we're a little crooked. Let's just scoot us over a little bit. So that is going to be on March 21st. I am going to be on 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, I follow, I don't remember who I follow and I don't remember who's after me. But so the 21st is uh, scrapbooking. It's led by Tiffany Solario. And she's actually a mixed media artist in addition to scrapbooking. So the 21st is going to be scrapbooking. And then the 28th, the following Saturday, is going to be all mixed media artists. So it's going to be a full day of, I think it's called From the Heart 2020. Not 100% sure, but I think that's what it's called. Um, so the 21st, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, that is when I will be on if you want to join. All right, let's go ahead and make this page kit. So this will be one of the layouts I make on um, at the crop in May. So I'll put this aside for that. Sorry, I keep being distracted because <laughs> Zambia's look at me so cute. It's like ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is, oh gosh, it's right here. I keep a little envelope of all of my cut files. I find that's the easiest way rather than, I tried storing them like with the, if I cut them out of a line, I tried storing them with the line and I ended up just not using that. So I'm keeping them like this for right now. And I keep it in the little Fajala desk organizer from Ikea that I keep next to me. If you see where my ATG is right now, um, it's where my laptop is so I can see the chat. That's normally where the Fajala sits. So let's pull out the embellishments and get started with some papers. So this layout I wanna do is just talking about him, just like how cute he is, um, because he really is a very cute little doggy. Um, so I wanna just wanna like, oh my goodness, look at that face, or oh, what a cutie, or blah, 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 so on and so forth. Um, so I have all these little heart ones and the green ones, and that's actually to go inside there if I decide to do that. So I think I will I'm thinking where did that star paint star go? Hmm. I'm gonna have to find that star. I can't believe I forgot it or left it somewhere. I probably, yeah, I know where it is. I'll add that to it. So what I think is I'm going to have this. 
piece of paper with these stars with the photo. And that's going to be my paper. I don't think I need any more of this heart paper. And I, I don't think I need butterflies for Archie. I think I want to save that for something else. So let's go through the die cuts. And this is how I do. Once I get started, I just keep going. Oh, Linda, you're going to the treat retreat. Awesome. That'll be super cool. Um, so when I'm doing, oh, there's cat hair in the middle of his face. Super fun. Thank you, Xanthi. When I'm making a page kit, I really just go with my gut. You know, I just go, I don't hem and haw. I don't, you know, what about this or this? Or what about this or this? I just go, oh, that's cute, plunk. Oh, that's cute, plunk. So, and then when I see, like something that is going to be maybe theme specific. Like if I pull out one of those bees, I would pull out all of those bees. If I pulled out the leaf or the pear, I would pull them all out. So I'm pulling out all of the hearts. Now I will, as you, I, I have not touched this line as I told you, um, what I will do, oh, Beth is going too, awesome. Um, what I will do is repackage these into uh, a little plastic container, not container, a uh, plastic sleeve. Um, these are very big. So I'm gonna see if there's a very big heart. Okay, that says be awesome. Oh, okay, I don't need that for this layout, but I want to use that so bad. All right, let's flip it over. Flowers, hey honey. Oh, that could be really cute. Enjoy today, pure honey. Not a ruler. Oh, tea bag, ooh, very cute. Well, I could totally do that. Let me take another sip. I do, do so enjoy tea. Don't like honey in my tea though. My roommate thinks I'm weird because of that. All right, so we'll also go through the chipboard pieces. I do not add alphabets to my page kits because if I have an alphabet here in a page kit, then I can't use them for anything else. I will put them in my homemade kit kit, but I'm making four layouts with that, so I don't have such a problem with it. All right. Okay. I love this, but it isn't going to work on this layout because um, the angles. And then if I tried running it along with the chevron, I would be concerned because it's chipboard that I wouldn't be able to get it to meet up nicely. So I went and got some wax paper and I'm just gonna put these on here, what works. So I like this. And then I like the sunshine and smiles. And I like the good day. I think I want one more. I think I'll go for the orange one that says happiness. He is a pain in the butt, I will tell you. He is a pain in the butt. I like the Live a Colorful Life. And then I think I'll pull in these two hearts. And 
then let's see. Yeah, the plus signs as well. Now, if I don't end up using it, it's fine. I will just leave it on the wax paper. And then when I get back, I will um, tear out the part of the wax paper that I didn't use. And I will just tuck it back in the plastic sleeve um, of this piece. All right, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want to add a little something else outside the line, the collection. I'm thinking some wood veneer. Let me get my wood veneer out. And this is all I do. It's just, you know, what comes to mind, what, what, what makes me think it'll go, what works for me. All right, am I thinking, yeah, let's do some stars because we got a bunch of stars. Uh, I have all my little tiny stars. Do I have bigger stars? I think I do. These are all leaves. So, oh, there are stars. There are my big stars, they are here. So, for other things like, um, flare and acrylic pieces and stuff like that, I tend to um, just keep them in containers like these because they're all different colors and stuff so it doesn't matter. Um, I can look through them and see them. With wood veneer, because the majority of them are the same color, I like to have them separated out in these little containers just because um, and I put all my stars together, all my hearts together, all my flowers and nature thingies and stuff like that. So let me just go through these, see if I've got anything tidily that might work. So I had a bunch of the thicker, the word thickers and I had a bunch that I only had one or two left. So I just trimmed them down. That would be cute. That would be cute. Um, so I just trimmed them down and I put them in this little container. And then anytime, like I don't have a title in mind right away, that would be cute too. But I'd rather it be love, like love your face rather than love you. And that is so, um, such a specific font that, same, I need your, I need, I really need your, in my, in my head, that is what is, And I just keep that little container right down there. It's where I keep all my journaling labels and my um, title stamps and stuff like that. Just like, so I remember it's right there. Thanks, hello, joy, trouble, best wishes, dream, magic, love, smile. Is there, nah, it's not smile, because he's a dog. This is upside down. Hello, happy cheer. That's not the right aqua. Every day, dream, let's go. Today, together, friends, rise and shine, believe. Say she's captured color block font. That's really curvy. Oh, look, your, wrong your. Um, but I could trim that E off. I might, I think I'm going to actually uh, go ahead and add that in there. So what I'm thinking I would do is love your sweet face 
and then use thickers for love and face. And then I would just trim the E off there. We have 14 people watching. Hey everyone, I didn't even realize that. I'm kind of just, I'm in the page, uh, the page kit making zone. I just dropped the binder clip on the floor. Yeah. Did I have love? So I'm sure I have love somewhere. <sighs> live, laugh, love. I'm never, ever, ever going to use live, laugh, love. I could use love this photo though. Not for this one, I'm just saying in general. I don't know. I think there's, is there a pink? Let me see, let me pull this out and take a gander. There's pink in here, there's pink in here, and that is the exact same pink. So I think I'm going to pull it off. Um, please fit on the back side of this. Okay, yay, it fits on the back side of this for the most part. One little piece doesn't. So what I'm going to do is pull off note because I'm not going to use that. So it'll be love your sweet and then I'll add face from one of the alphas I'll bring with me. So just put that back. We are almost done here. Woohoo! Page kit almost complete. I think it needs something else. It's probably going to be enamel dots, but I won't add enamel dots to it because, oh, I should see if I, I've got the plus signs. I could add in a couple of colorful ones. Two. Let's see how many plus signs are on the other side. One, two. So before I take things out, if I'm going to make a page kit, I always make sure I don't leave like one or two of something. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I take one more, and I'll take this yellowy one, um, I'll have five uh, or six plus signs left, which I can use three and three. And just that way, because I've done that in the past where I've taken and then all of a sudden I'll realize I only have one heart or one star left. Like, let's say I have these, I'll have like one left and it's like, well, crud. <laughs> I either have to like do one large cluster where that's just one element in it and it's invariably like the small star. It's never like one big star that can be the basis of a cluster. No, no, no. It's always like one dinky little star left. All right. I think I've got my background page. Did I need another piece of pattern paper? Let me think about this. I've got that. I'm going to look for the star. I know where it is. Um, I just forgot to pick it up and put it back in the bag. Um, I may back the star. I may not back the star. I'm not 100% sure. But I think we're good. And as I said, I'm not going to pack my enamel dots because they... Um, I'll just bring all of them to the crop. So I will show you one last thing before I go. Hey, Tasha. Is Tasha I know Tasha or just another Tasha? Let me know, because I know a Tasha who scrapbooks. Okay, so one last thing. So uh, I don't know if y'all have noticed that Mercy Tiara is back making videos. Oh, hey, so hi, Tasha. Um, she went and reorganized her enamel dots and then I went and did mine as well. And if you've watched a couple of my recent videos, you've seen it. So what I did is I went ahead and by color 
put them on index cards. And my idea was to um, like put them in an index box, but as it turns out, they fit perfectly in my little Fajala. I don't know how you actually pronounce this thing, so, but I'll put this right here. And then the only things that aren't done are these specific ones because they're not exactly an enamel dot. They're more like a round puffy sticker and then some shaped ones. And it's not a lot. It's just a couple. But they fit perfectly in this little pocket. So I do have one organized pocket in this little container. The rest are not as organized. I will tell that that very truthfully um, but they all sit right here and it's been wonderful going through them and getting um, the right color um, and knowing what I have in each of the colors like I have so many aqua I don't need any more aqua um, enamel box, probably for the rest of my life all right all right so I think that's gonna be it for today um, don't forget I've got for the Love of Homemade Kits coming out on Monday. I've got uh, For the Love of Crafting and Sharing. We, we like the phrase for the love in the scrapbooking world. Uh, for the Love of Crafting and Sharing coming out on the 20th. I will have my next lift and sketch coming out on the 22nd and then my series with Kelly Oblack um stash bash with Rachel and Kelly will be out on March 1st. We are going to be working with our oldest still own product <laughs> oh my gosh guys can we say k and company wait till you see it um so and then next month march 21st that will be my next live i will be doing it part of a hop um I've got all my design team stuff coming out for scrapbooking store throughout the month and then I'll have the new March kit on March 1st as well as my next For the Love of Homemade Kits kit coming out on March 1st as well. That is going to be it for me today. Let me just share once again. This is the layout I have 9% made. I just need to add the journaling and then the rest of the tile title with tile stickers and then we did use, oh we did I did use a page maps map uh, page maps sketch to make this for a challenge I'm entering and then we used the Vicky Booten wildflowers and honey line to make this page kit for these two four by four photos. That is going to conclude my live for the month of February. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could remember to flick me a thumbs up before we head out, that would be super great. I'm actually going to go ahead, finish this layout, and then go grocery shopping. Woo woo, super fun. But I've got a three day weekend, and so hopefully it will be I don't have a lot of cleaning to do, so hopefully other than that, I'll be able to get some more scrapbooking done because I've actually got a lot of scrapbooking commitments to do over the next couple of days. Does, before I say goodbye, does anybody have any questions? I'll give you guys a few minutes because I know there's a delay. I'm going to sip some tea. Thank you, Tasha, for saying that. It's a super cute layout. All right, I'm gonna go with nobody has any questions. If you do, and I've already said goodbye, just leave it in the comment section below. Um, I will put a link to all of my collab stuff I'm doing um, in the description box below once I manage to finish this layout and it all processes and everything like that. All right, folks, thank you guys so much for joining me here. I hope you had fun. I hope you join me next month with the YouTube hop. There's going to be a lot of fun. And some of the people are going to have prizes. I do not know yet if I will have a prize. We will see. Um, but we will, uh, there will definitely, some of the women are offering prizes for their hour. Um, if you comment on their um, 